Okay, guys, so I'm back to review another fragrance, and I am going to review another celebrity fragrance. I admire this pop artist called Katy Perry. Katy Perry is so pop cultured, futuristic, edgy, daring like like boombastic i just love her you know that's my dupes so i am a fan of her music and some of her perfumes today i'm gonna talk about one of her scents that i adore called meow by her katy perry meow this is the box packaging. So I'm packaging it now. And it to let you know is the real deal. You see in meow mark on top as well. I love Patrice Roberts. The packaging is like Gorgeous. I am not a fan of cats, but look at this cute kitten. Wow. This is like kind of rose gold, light, lavender, gold, bronze, bottom, with the M, meow, and the eyes, this stud, so beautiful. Like, get a close up. And even the tail. It's really nice, really, really nice. And this is a hundred ml. I'm not gonna spray it on the paper, I will spray it on me, my skin. It's so sweet and fruity. Whew, I smell in vanilla. Kinda nostalgic kind of moment. I'm smelling something like I smell when I was younger to me it's not in a clean fresh scent as well oh wow this is a nice relaxing cool breezy day scent um, the top notes is tangerine peach gardenia and jasmine for the middle notes is african orange flower honeysuckle and lily of the valley for the base notes is where you will get the musk and vanilla and you will get the the amber you know and the amber is not as strong as i would have liked it to be but Yeah. And you will get um sandalwood. But the main notes you will get is the vanilla and pear and tangerine for sure for sure. This fruitiness, like wow. 
this is a good good work work perfume it's a girly scent so I will say ages between lower than 30 like give it 27 28 it could be 18 to 28 can try per. I mean put on my mind because I also talk about that could try meow so meow was launched in late 2011 and per was launched in 2010 so she launched them back to back and the difference is um, Pearl have some green bamboo and some powder notes you know and but they both have like vanilla and jasmine they, they have a lot in common it's just pearl is stronger pearl is a dark purple color while this give you this kind of um <coughs> blush pink rose pink kind of finish this m is reminding me of mariah carey right <coughs> but it's very cute and it's for a young crowd girl pleasing and it's like like cotton candy just so soft and friendly and I adore this scent I literally can spray this to sleep it's not harsh it's not harsh on your nose and that's what I like but, but I know for sure because it's not strong like her it will not give you a great projection and a great longevity it's very moderate we can live with moderate we just can't live with weak and this is not weak this is um four to five hours that's okay that's okay if you take a little top up in the middle of the day if you're in your office you know in your AC that's okay but um this is a nice celebrity fragrance to have Katy Perry came really good with this presentation the bottle I just love it love it when this is empty it's just to sit on your counter and admire it this is not to throw away you don't throw away collectors like these you know <laughs> so this is my take on Katy Perry meow I would say go for it go for it if you know you're young or you like subtle taste scents you know you don't want to be too known you know so this is my review on this 2011 fragrance I would review Pearl sometime in the near future or probably another fragrance from her or just another celebrity fragrance in time to come I have to talk about Beyonce the rise and impulse and heat can't remember if I talk about it already but these are some things I just need to talk about so I will recommend my top five or my top ten fragrances in the celebrity line that I adore one of them too is Jessica Simpson um, fantasy yeah there's one coming up so until next time guys ciao